Well, as we round the final turn of 2025 toward the new year, you may have the urge to rid bad habits. And there are some online encouraging a detox, detox for food or for metal, even for vaccines. Is there any science to prove that detoxes work? Well, Tim Caulfield is an author and professor of health science, uh, health law and science policy. He looks at the data supporting or in some cases missing from fads and trends, and he helps us navigate all of this. So, Tim, what is a detox, first of all? It's, it's, it's this idea, Kent, that, that you can you know, do something, a diet, a supplement that will cleanse your body of, of the evil toxins that reside in there. And Kent, who wants toxins in their bodies? You know, it, who wants that, right? So the reality is the word detox, and I mean this, this is like, I often get asked, what, what's your one bit of advice? And this is often up there. The word detox is one of the major red flags for pseudoscience bunks. If you see marketing that includes the word detox, red flag, you know, the alarm should be going to question the product. Whether you're talking about a supplement, whether you're talking about, you know, a special sauna, whether you're talking about an extreme diet, whether you're, especially whether you're talking about a colon cleanse, you know, don't do it. You can't detox your body like that. There's no evidence to support it at all. You know, when you go pee, <laughs> you're detoxing. You got your kidneys to do that, right? There's no magical formula to detox your body. And there could be real harm, right? There, there could be physical harm, you know, perforating a bowel if you're doing a colon cleanse. Extreme diets can be, can be harmful. And also, it, it, it sort of invites the embrace and the legitimization of pseudoscience. So no, 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 no. So where does this all come from then? It, it seems almost like it's omnipresent at this point. There's a detox for, for all these different sorts of things, even the talk of detoxing vaccines. Where does this all come from? Uh, you're, you're right. I, I think part of it is, you know, as I said off the top, it has this intuitive appeal to it. It, it makes sense, right? And it also plays to our fears, you know, that, that, that this idea that we have toxins residing in our body. And it, it is like these simple solutions to which we all want, right? We, we all want that. Um, but there's really never been any evidence to support the idea that you can detox your body in the way that these things are promised. There's often a political element to it also. And I think this idea of detoxing vaccines is a good example of how you can get pulled down to, into a pseudoscience world that does real harm, right? It, do, it does real harm. It's sort of, you know, adjacent to the anti-vax rhetoric that is right now causing, you know, harm around the world. So emphatically, no, no, no to all detoxes. Is there any sort of detox that you do support? Uh, so, you know, I hate to say this again. I wish they didn't use the word detox, Kent, but I think there's growing body, body of evidence to support a digital detox. So this is the idea of putting your phone away, you know, taking a break from digital media for a while. And there's actually a growing body of evidence that says this helps. There's a study that came out not that long ago that found 91% of people improved by putting their phone away, their well-being, their mental health, uh, their attention, and their critical thinking all improved. A very recent study published in JAMA found that, you know, same thing for, for kids, that you know, you know, teenagers, putting away your phone can improve mental health. I, let's call it a break. Can we call it a digital break? We need a better word than detox because in general, in general, detox equals bunk unless you're talking about a digital detox. Okay. Digital break sounds just fine for me. Tim, as always, we appreciate your insight. Thank you for sifting through the data for us. Uh, if you'd like to follow along with Tim, he has all kinds of this information available. You can go online and follow on social media at Caulfield Tim.